Good morning guys, I'm Kostas from Study Medicine and today we're going to talk about psychiatry. As every time, I'm going to tell you about the books I used, the notes I did and I'm going to share them with you and some general information, so stay tuned. So guys, um, let's uh, start with books. Uh, the problem is I couldn't find any good book that has all the information I need. So I did the extreme thing that I think that no one should ever do. I used the DSM-4 and maybe a bit of 5 for some clarifications. DSM is Diagnostic and Statistical Methods of, Psych of American Association of Psychiatry, something like that. Uh, it's like, let's say, the textbook of all psychiatrists that is, you know, all the criteria. There you will find everything that if you are working as a psychiatrist in America, you have to know. But it's, it gave me something good, the DSM. It has a criteria for its disease, like American working with guidelines. So they have criteria for its disease. Like in order to be depressed, you need to have this, 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 this. So what this gives you as like a student? It gives you the symptoms. If it says you, in order to be depressed, you need to have a like low mood and um, you know, whatever else, then it gives you that person who is depressed will have like a depressed mood or he will be sad or you know like with the criteria you can make the symptoms so you have five criteria that you have five symptoms like that but if you know the criteria then you don't need to separate your brain to criteria and symptoms the same things so I, I prefer to learn like that the other thing is like has, it has a good definitions like clear definitions because you know this is going to be used by psychiatrists to make diagnosis so it has really clear definitions for the rest of the things, I used also Medscape, which is really good for some diseases. The, and how actually, it's really good to know how to confront the patient when he comes to you, you know, has everything from presentation, diagnosis, everything. So you have, know everything about it. And um, that's all about uh, books. Uh, there is only one more thing I want to tell you is the ICD-10. Here we are in Europe, the one I use is from, for America. There is not such a big difference, I don't know, like 2%, 5% of the disease they have, have some different, or some different in classification. If you can find ICD-10 and you want to study ICD-10, study ICD-10. But I prefer to study the, the DSM, it's like, it's like a textbook and I like it. But it's hard. Okay, so this about the books. One more thing. For Mazarin University students, there is a book of the university which I didn't have an idea that exists, like no one told me about it. You cannot buy it, you can only borrow it from the library, and I don't know how many of them they exist. I don't know why it is. It seems good because, you know, I, I it follows uh, the questions of exam in Masaryk University, but I don't know if it's uh, so good. Check it out, and then you will let me know how it is when you study from it. So this one is about the book of the university. This is only for Masaryk University. Okay, so we go now to my notes. In my notes, you can... Uh, find the three parts for the master university the first general part the second is a special one the third one is what to do you know it's kind of clinic more clinical this you have to know very well this is the first syllabus of the fifth year that i'm making a electronic form i typed it and uh, i took a lot of stuff from the lectures from the dsm and from Medscape, and they combine them all to answer the questions i think it's pretty easy to read it is not something uh, very difficult some parts are longer than the others but generally I told you it's going like with criteria in the special part it's going with criteria then it's going with treatment and you know the treatment you must know a lot from pharmacology but okay yes it's pharmacology in any university that you are the special part of my syllabus is good it's answering all almost all the diseases the psychiatry so that's about the notes and now we're general things about psychiatry psychiatry is a very different subject if you don't like to read books and if you don't like to you know understand the psyche of a person then it's not for you if you like surgery definitely it's not for you but in my opinion psychiatry is very useful and for master university students the third part is very useful because it teaches you clinical stuff like you know when someone comes with and he's drunk it's so it says to you how to treat him and when someone comes with delirium what do you do you know these are important stuff to know the part c is that's a new part they didn't, it didn't exist in the syllabus like that before. It's very interesting because you learn clinical stuff and this you have to know as a doctor. And, and except of that, you know, there are some parts like um, simulation, malingering and things like that, that you might need to know, you know, what to do. And because for example, if someone has a symptom, you cannot explain the symptom by diagnostic test, then it might be simulation. 
I'm malingering something else, but simula I'm saying simulation. And this, then you have to persuade the patient that it's not the problem that you cannot find what he has, but you have to explain to him that it is because of some stress that he might have, and he need to visit the psychiatrist, the psychologist, in order to solve to solve this conflict that exists there that causing him having these symptoms. And you know, if you don't know this stuff, that okay, I can many doctors just know that this exists, then you cannot persuade the patient that it's not your fault that you cannot find what he has, and it's psychological. You know, psychological is maybe as important as is the organic cause. There, both of them can be treated. If you don't know that the psychological can be treated, and if you don't know how to explain that to the patient, then you have the problem as a, pra as a practitioner. So, for this reason, psychiatry is important to everyone. That's everything for today. Like, dislike, subscribe, um, find us on Facebook. Thank you very much. Have a good day.